Hello everyone and happy new year. It's January 1st. 2021. My name is Raphael and welcome to Network Engineer Pro. In today's video, I'll be teaching you secure CDP. That's right, secure Cisco Discovery Protocol. It's something that not a lot of people may have heard of, so I want to make my first video of the year on this as I think it's something that we should all at least know about and it's really easy to configure. So I'll explain briefly what it is and why we need it, then we're going to hop on the CLI and get it configured and see it in action. We're all familiar with CDP or maybe you're just starting out and maybe you've heard of it but you weren't sure exactly how it works. In that case, check the description of this video, I put a link to my CDP tutorial video that's going to bring you up to speed. All right, so we know Cisco devices like routers and switches use CDP. Directly connected Cisco devices send CDP advertisements to each other with information embedded in something called a TLV or a type length value. We type show CDP neighbor or show CDP neighbor detail on a router or a switch and we see a lot of really helpful information about our directly connected neighbor. Those TLVs contain things like capabilities, the interface that we're connected on. We also see information like the native VLAN, IP addresses, IP prefixes configured on the device and more. Now the problem is, is that we see information like the native VLAN, IP addresses and IP prefixes configured on the device and more. Let's look at a Wireshark capture really quick so I can show you what I mean. All right, so here's your typical CDP message. You're going to have a device ID. This is going to be the host name. We have our software version. Our platform is Cisco. We have some IP addresses. This is one of the IP addresses configured on the remote device. We have our port ID. We have capabilities, whether or not the device can route, can switch. In our case, this can. It's also IGMP capable. And under IP prefixes, we have some IP prefixes here. This is used for the on-demand routing protocol, ODR. Here's some VTP information. The duplex is full, and we have another IP address that we could use for management on the remote device. These are all TLVs, and this is the point of uh, secure CDP, is that we can remove, we can filter out certain things from being sent. So if we want to make sure that no IP addresses get sent, you can go ahead and filter them out. If you don't want IP prefixes to be sent in the CDP advertisement, you can filter that TLV out as well. Depending on where you work or what you're connecting to, it might be a security concern to send all of that information out in a CDP advertisement. Sure, you can just turn CDP off on the interface or even globally, but what if you wanted to still send CDP advertisements containing the port ID and maybe the duplex info, which is great for troubleshooting, I'm sure we can all agree, but at the same time, we can remove the sensitive information like IP addresses and prefixes. So we can make it harder for someone to know what our network looks like. With secure CDP, we can do exactly that. That's right, we can filter out sensitive things and only send what we want in the CDP advertisement. Those type length values or TLVs that contain all of that info, what we're gonna do is we'll create something called a TLV filter list and filter out specific things that are being sent to a connected neighbor. So a router connected to a switch only wants to send the port ID it's using to connect and not the management IP address, great, secure CDP to the rescue. Let's hop on the CLI and get started. All right, we are ready for the configuration portion of our video. If you look in the upper right hand corner, I have a very, very simple topology, just a router connected to a switch. Uh, both are using gigabit zero slash zero. Our task is do not allow switch one to send the following TLVs using CDP over to R1. Any IP addresses, IP prefixes, VTP, native VLAN, platform and capabilities. And I put a little note at the bottom that this should only be applied on the interface that connects to router one. So from switch one's perspective, that's only gonna be gigabit zero slash zero. And the reason I specified this is we'll see later is because you can apply your TLV filters globally on the device, which means every interface or just on one specific interface. All right, before we go configuring, let's look on router one, the neighbor, and let's do a show CDP neighbor Let's see what we're getting from switch one. So we can see our device ID. This is our host name. We have our local interface, whole time, uh, and our capabilities, right? Switch one's capabilities is it's routing, switching, and IGMP. And the port that's on switch one that we're connecting to is gigabit zero slash zero. Let me hit up arrow a couple times and I'm gonna do show CDP neighbor detail. Okay, it's gonna give me a little bit more information. I can see that there is an IP address on switch one, that's 192.168.1.2. I can see some detailed uh, version info. We're using CDP version two. Here's some VTP information, full duplex, and here's a management IP address. And it actually happens to be the same address that it found in the entry address section. All right, so let's look at a Wireshark capture. I am capturing on switch one's gigabit zero slash zero interface. Let's, let me pull up Wireshark over here. 
All right, I hope that you guys can see this fine. All right, so here is a CDP message from switch one going to router one. And let me, all right, so we already have CDP expanded. The device ID is switch one. We have our software version information, Cisco, platform is Cisco. Here's an address. I have an address configured 192.168.1.2, and it's actually configured on gigabit 0 slash 0 on switch 1. So you can see that switch 1 is sending us IP address information towards router 1 via CDP. Here's our port, our, lo our local port on switch 1 is gigabit 00. Our capabilities, if we expand this here, we can see that it is a router, it can do switching, and it is IGMP capable. Next is IP prefixes. This has to do with on-demand routing, ODR. It's a routing protocol that uses CDP. So these interfaces here, these slash 32s, these are actually loopbacks that I configured on switch one. And you can see that switch one is sending this information to router one via CDP. Next, we have VTP information. We're using full duplex. And again, our IP address is showing up here as well under the management address section. So if we look at our task one more time, we do not want switch one to send any IP address information, any IP prefixes, anything related to VTP, the native VLAN, any platform information and any capabilities. Let's go ahead and get this configured. So I'm going to go back on switch one. All right. So on switch one, let's go ahead and get this configured. So let me go to config T and I'm going to say CDP. And if you hit question mark, you can see that you have TLV list. This is what we want to configure. So TLV list, hit question mark again, we need to name it. So I'm just gonna name it secure dash CDP. Now, once you're inside the TLV list, if you hit question mark, you're gonna see every option that you have when it comes to CDP. These are all of the parameters that you could filter if you wanted to. So you have the address, you have capabilities, duplex information, hello protocol, IP prefixes. So you can see that there's some of this stuff that, that we need to do. So let's look at our task. Um, let's go ahead. We want any IP address information we want to be filtered out. So we're going to say address. Next, what else are we going to say? We're going to say management address. After that, we have IP prefixes. After that, on our task of things to do, it's VTP, anything VTP related. We're going to have native VLAN platform information and capabilities. Now I'm going to exit. And now that the list, the filter list is created, you need to apply it somewhere. You, like I said, you can either apply it globally to every interface on the switch, or you can apply it to just one interface. And our task says that we should only be applying this on one interface. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go into gigabit zero slash zero, and we're going to say CDP. And if you hit question mark, you have filter list TLV list. And what you need to do is you need to specify the name of the TLV list that we created earlier. And if you remember, it's secure dash CDP. And it's telling us that a TLV list named secure CDP has been applied on gigabit zero slash zero. One way that we could verify this is by doing a show CDP TLV list and the name. You can see that we have a TLV list created. It's named secure dash CDP. And the, the TLVs that we are in fact filtering are the address, capability, IP prefix, management address, native VLAN, platform, and the VTP management domain domain. And it's been applied on gigabit zero slash zero. Let's go ahead and hop back on router one and see what has changed. Hit up arrow a couple times and I'm gonna do again, show CDP neighbor detail. So you can already see that under entry addresses, we used to have an IP address here. We don't have that anymore. You can also see that the VTP information that was under here is gone. The management address is gone. And if you look at when we did it the first time, here we had management management addresses, we had VTP, all that, all that's gone. Let's look at the Wireshark capture as well so we can see it too. Okay, so you can see under the addresses, this number of addresses is now zero. Before, if we look at the earlier capture, we had it here. We had IP address 192.168.1.2. It has now been removed. And the management address has also been removed. You can see there's a lot less information than there was before. There's no more uh, native VLAN information. There's no more platform. There's no capabilities. There's no VTP. And there's no IP prefixes. 
So by using secure CDP, we are able to filter out what we don't want, but still use CDP because it is helpful in some cases. Okay, so we saw what's contained in a CDP advertisement before any filtering is applied. We identified some sensitive info that we don't want to advertise out. We created a TLV filter list specifying what we don't want to send. We applied it to an interface and verified that it's doing exactly what we want by doing a show CDP neighbor on the other device. And we verified it as well using Wireshark. Really cool, right? And it's not too difficult. If you know CDP, then secure CDP is cake. Like I said, at the end of the day, you could just disable CDP at the interface level or globally if it's such a big deal. But I wanted to show you that you can still use CDP while not giving out too much information that you don't want, making it more secure. It's all about what's happening now and what tools are available to us. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, I wanna wish everyone a happy new year, great health and knowledge. Let's identify goals that we wanna to use to get better and knock them out one by one. Thanks everyone, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.